good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ this is another new day and as you begin your day i pray that you will find your confidence and your joy in the lord jesus christ and our, our last meditation was the first of the three things that we know the first one was i know i was blind but now i can see and the second one thing i one thing that we must uh, one thing is one thing i do the first is one thing i know and the second one i want to consider today this morning is one thing i do in philippians chapter 3 it says brothers i do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it but one thing i do forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead what was it that paul says one thing i do it was forgetting what is behind i am pressing on you have a destiny and it is a glorious one there are many things which can hold you back and hinder you from reaching your des destiny because the devil will try his is best that you don't reach there because the destiny that is awaiting for all of us are all glorious and the and the, and the, the 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 past can hold you your present and destroy your future remember that and your past name and fame achievements gains riches successes victories and defeats and failures and disappointments friendship past sins etc these can hinder your future glory so the apostle paul says i am forgetting those past things everything of the past my i'm forgetting all my achievements my riches my glorious uh, training and my degrees and and everything i am forgetting forgetting those past things i one thing i do we can be so occupied with our past victory that a present attack may overtake us unaware and we are defeated so think what i am saying to you this morning very carefully think it deep we can also be so preoccupied with some past defeat that we fail to see the possibility of a future victory the past defeat can defeat us in the future as well and it can block we can blind us to a victory that is actually awaiting we can be sitting brooding over some past sin a devastating self defeating sin that we refuse to rise up and go on to a victorious future life by the grace of god you know many times we forget that our god is a god of a second chance he gives 
and so because of your defeat in your spiritual life in the past once by a devastating sin this thought has got in now god can never be favorable or never forgive me and you brood over the past that can block your vision completely no my friends never allow the past defeat to block your future victory the grace of god is greater than all your past remember that and therefore come on rise up and there is something to take hold of and what is that your destiny you have learned your lesson and let those lessons remain you go on with a forward look with your determination and the holy spirit helping you you can be an overcomer a triumphant one a victorious one look forward to be conformed and transformed to the image of christ look forward to a crown that is waiting second timothy chapter 4 verse 8 look forward to a new heaven and a new earth revelation 21:1 where righteousness lives and reigns look forward to the place prepared for you gospel according to st john chapter 14 verses 1 to 3 Look forward to the first resurrection that we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 and Revelation chapter 20 verse 5 And my friends let us not only know something but let us also do something This one thing I know I was blind but now I see a wonderful knowledge and then this one thing i do forgetting the things of the past and i am pressing on going forward and let that forward look and forward going take you safely to your destiny you have a glorious destiny and the third one thing is in psalm number 27 verse 4 which uh, the psalmist david says this one thing i desire to be in the house of the lord forever and ever and to behold the beauty of his face and so this is what we read in this uh, the desire of david chapter uh, the psalm number 27 verse 4 one thing i ask of the lord this is what i seek or i desire that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the lord and to seek him in his temple and then in verse 5 also he says for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon the rock and my friends the blessings of his house there are mainly three blessings 
Number one, there is safety in his dwelling place. There is no safety anywhere else in the universe. Let me tell you, when the wrath of God begins to fall, our only safety is in his house. And secondly, there is a hiding place. And thirdly, there is a shelter. What are these? This house of God. And the one who desires the house of God most, any, more than anything else, will find security, safety, and the, 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 the blessings of life. And my friends, I want you to know that nothing else in this world can provide this. Safety, or a hiding place, or a shelter. There is a shelter in the house of God. There is a hiding place. And let me tell you, my friends, if you are a devotee, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you just simply cannot say, I love Jesus and then don't care about the house of God. And I pray that you will value and consider the house of God the most important place you will ever visit. And then you love it so much, your one desire will be to be in the house of God all the days of my life. Oh, what a beautiful thing it is. Simeon was such a prophet. He was in the house of God when baby Jesus was brought there for the first time. And there was this Hannah there. She was, she never departed from the temple of God, from the house of God. And both of them had the joy of seeing the salvation of God. And they were satisfied. And Simeon even prayed, Now, Lord, you take me. So here are these three things. The one thing you must know for certain. And then one thing you must do in order to press on and arrive at your destination. And then there is one thing your soul must desire the most anything else, more than anything else, to be in the house of the Lord all the days of your life. Oh, what joy, what peace, what confidence, what safety, and what a hiding place, and what a shelter you will find in the house of God. You know what Moses, in Exodus chapter 33, verses 12 to 23, you read. God wanted to destroy the people of Israel because of their their, their arrogance and because of their idolatry, because of their adulteries and immorality, everything. He was so angry while Moses was receiving the commandments from the Lord. And he told Moses, and, and, and he wanted to destroy them. So he promised many things to Moses, but Moses came in between God and the people. All that story you know. After all that, Moses had one desire. Lord, all these things that you promised me, a great name and a great nation, you will make me a great nation and all these things. Lord, I don't want any of these things. There is only one desire. If you found favor, if I can find a favor in your eyes, if you are favorable to me, then grant me this one desire I have. Just show me your glory. 
what moses was desiring was that the glory shining on the face of god he wanted to see the face of god that one desire all other thing great things that god promised was nothing to him he said i don't want any of these things but show me oh let our hearts long for god himself god's presence he is my knowledge he is my safety he is my shelter and he is my hope he is my eternity nothing else i need nothing else i ask but your favor thank you lord blessed holy spirit i thank you that you have granted your people the opportunities to decide the best thing in life but very often many people ignore the greater things of life and go after the temporary things of life and they miss out god's best lord all those who listen to this meditation this morning have such a high expectation that they more than anything else they want the presence of god and the vision of god thank you lord bless your people today and in jesus name amen god bless you this is a great day my friends enjoy the rest of this day and god's blessing be upon you decide the best thing that god has for you your destiny